Mulder, what are they? Mosquito bites. Are you sure? Yeah. I got eaten up a lot myself out there. <laughs> you okay? Yes. You should have seen her. She was beautiful. Yeah, well, she just about ripped your lungs out. Yeah, we have nothing to go on. I'm gonna sleep on it, and we'll talk about it in the morning. Hmm. Mulder, you're rushing me out of the room. No, I'm not. Do you have a girl coming over? What's a girl? I got a, a movie I want to watch on TV. Sleep tight. I'll see you in the morning. took her. They were here. Here? Or here? On the tapes. You sure you don't want to sit down, Scully? I want somebody to take a look at you. I'm fine. the truth, Mulder. Now what I want are the answers. You know, I've got things to finish, to prove to myself, to my family. But for my own reasons.
I don't want to wrestle. Don't be having a drink anymore. One of us has got to stay away, Scully. You sleep, Muller. If you get tired, you wake me. I'm not going to get tired. Why don't you sing something? No, Mulder. Why don't you sing something? I know you're awake. Mulder, you don't want me to sing. I can't carry it down. It doesn't matter to sing anything. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. Never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. Cor. Joy to the world. All the boys and girls. Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea. Joy to you and but do I really feel the way I feel? Put on my blue suede shoes. It's okay. Today, I saw Emily. She came to me in a vision. I think you should step away. Personal issues are making you lose your objectivity, clouding your judgment. You go. Go find the girl. I'm going to finish up with Father Gregory.
charge here, you know. They're supposed to call. I have to get my partner out of here. I'm blowing this whole freaking place right off the map. They come in here. I just want everybody to live. That's all. I just... Just show them. I'm Rob. <laughs> this is my lovely wife, Laura. Rob and Laura Petrie. We pronounce it Petrie, actually. Oh. Like the dish. <laughs> uh, I work mostly at home, which is, which is great for Laura because she gets me all to herself. Oh. <laughs> this place really is immaculate, Pat. I, uh, I wouldn't mind sending a thank you note to the previous owners. Oh, oh that's sweet. Um, good. <laughs> Say, would you two like to join Cammy and me for dinner this evening? About six. We eat early. That sounds great. Thanks. Great. You're kidding. I'm afraid not. Rules are rules. It may not sound like anything a simple basketball hoop, but from there, it's just a few short steps to spinning daisy reflectors and a bass boat in the driveway. In other words, anarchy. It may sound tough. But ours is a system that works. It's why the Falls is one of the top-ranked planned communities in all of California. Most of our homeowners have been here since day one. I love the decor here, Mr. Gogolak. Is it um, Occidental? Well, it's uh, Nepalese and Tibetan, mostly. I go there twice a year on business. Oh. I run Pier 9 Imports. I can get you a great deal on rattan furniture if you're interested. Indoor only. Outdoor use is prohibited by our CC and ours. Well, it's not me so much as Laura. She's quite the new ager. I mean, she's into those magnetic bracelets and crystals and mood rings, what have you. I mean, she's, God bless her. She's a sucker for all that stuff. <laughs> Cheap. Paying that kid ten bucks an hour to shag balls. Hey, it's not a bad piece of ash, huh? The bat. I'm talking about the bat. Now don't strangle it. You just want to shake hands with it. Hello, Mr. Bat. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh no, no, Miss Scully. The pleasure is all mine. Okay, now we wanna we wanna go hips before hands, okay? We wanna stride forward and turn. That's all we're thinking about. So we go hips. Four hands, all right? Okay, yes. One more time. Hips before hands, all right? Yeah. What is it? Hips before hands. Right. We're going to wait on the pitch. We're going to keep our eye on the ball. Okay. And then we're just going to make contact. We're not going to think. We're just going to let it fly, Scully, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? I'm in the middle. 
All right, fire away, poor boy. Ooh, that's good. All right, the, what you may find is you're concentrating on hitting that little ball. The rest of the world just fades away, all your everyday nagging concerns. <laughs> Taking your, your biological clock. I probably couldn't afford that nice new suede coat on a G-woman's salary. How you threw away a promising career in medicine. <laughs> Don Daly and the crackpot hell be a brilliant partner. Getting at the heart of a global conspiracy. <laughs> You're obscenely overdue triple X, Bill. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Scully. The last two problems are mine, not yours. Shut up, Mulder. I'm playing baseball. Oh! To stop looking for your sister. She was just trying to take away your pain. Mulder, I have something to confess. What's that? I'm in love with associate producer Walter Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> ah, me too. <laughs> Not worth it, Scully. What? I want you to go home. <gasps> Walter, I'm gonna be fine. No, no, I've been thinking about it. Looking at you today, holding that baby. Knowing everything that's been taken away from you. A chance for motherhood and your health and that baby. I think that. Yeah, maybe they're right. Who's right? The FBI. Maybe what they say is true. But for all the wrong reasons, it's the personal costs that are too high. There's so much more you need to do.
Sigali? You want some water? What happened to her? Can you just get her some water? No. I just... I just... I just hit the ground. Here, lie still. These aren't just random abductions, Scully. We've got to warn Billy Miles of that. These abductees aren't just systematically being taken. They're not coming back. I'm not going to risk losing you. Big ball, beautiful man. The only thing you're gonna be kissing Mulder is your sweet ass goodbye. The trouble you're in. Yeah. I kind of gathered that right around the 50th brainwashing session. Our son, Mulder. I gave him up. <gasps> Our son. I 
just miss both of you so much. God, where have you been? Where have you been hiding? In New Mexico. Doing what? Looking for the truth. surgery this morning and then we'll get out of here ready I don't care about the big questions right now Mom. I just want one more chance to ask my mom a few little ones okay, so no Margaret's an organ donor they, they need her right away. Here you go. Her last word is to us. We're about our child. Our grandchild that we gave away. Why did she say that? Why did she have to say that? Philadelphia. No, I need to work. No, no, no. Yes, no, right now. Mulder, right, right now. now. I need to work right now. FBI field office, come back with some cyber forensics agents and then start a case against Erica Price. No, I thought I was going to throw up for a second. I'm okay. What's going to happen? What's going to happen when? When we're old. What do you mean, when? And sooner or later, we're going to retire, and yeah. are we going to spend time together? No, come push your wheelchair with my wheelchair. That's not what I mean. Oh, I'll always be around, Scully, offering bulletproof theories of genius that you failed to assail with your inadequate rationality. And I'll always be around to prove you wrong. Huh. Promise. No, but that's not what I mean. What do you mean?
What if you meet someone? What if you meet someone younger who wants to have kids? That's what you mean. Well, you could do the same. You could meet someone and have kids. <laughs> All of that's not gonna happen. It's nonsense. No, it's not. I'm, I'm at the end of that journey. Do you want to have more kids? Well, I would have liked to have had another one. Hmm. But the risk of sounding insensitive, what's stopping you? Hmm. Besides the fact that the first time was a miracle, and besides the fact that I don't have anyone to have one with, even if I could. You're a woman of science. Well, sometimes I think the world is going to hell. Not we're the only two people who can save it. The world is going to hell, Scully. The president working to bring down the FBI along with it. What if we lose our jobs? Then what would we do? We'll think of something. broken by decades worth of trash. 